Hi guys, this is Mihai from DNN Sharp. I'm going to show you today another great thing you can do with DNN Sharp products. Of course, all the nice tutorials can be found on our blog page, blog.dnnsharp.com/1001. And today I'm going to show you how to build a quiz form with a dynamic number of questions. Basically, you're building a form in which you don't know how many fields you're going to have. Let's start. Um, I've built a database table named questions where I have an ID column, the question, an answer, and a test ID because I'm planning to create multiple tests. That table you can see linked here to a an action grid so we can easily see and edit the questions and now let's build the form with dynamic fields let's go to the manage form area to build your quiz form you will need the questions and the submit button you'll add the submit button as you usually do and for the questions, because you don't know how many questions you will have for this specific quiz, we will use a new feature that was added in Action Form. It's actually a feature that will be available in Action Form 5.0, which is not yet released. But if you want to test it, drop us a line and we'll give it to you as a beta. So to add the questions, go to the hidden data section and add a dynamic field container. This is basically a container in which you will be able to insert new fields. I'm going to name this questions because this is where my questions will show up. This is my form, a questions area and a submit button. Now when the form loads we will need to load the questions from the database and then push one field for each question. So that for each makes us think that we will execute multiple actions or the same action multiple times. So we will need an entity. Let's connect to the database and uh, get the needed data. I'm gonna load entities from SQL and it's a select ID question and answer from questions where test is the test ID that I'm going to pass through the query string. I'm going to give a name to this entity, it's going to be Q and the properties of the entity ID which is the ID column from SQL question and answer now that we have the questions we will only need to add them to the form. So, execute actions on entity list. So, uh, for each question, we will add another field in our form on our queue entity. Let's do some actions dynamic fields, add text box. So, this means that for each question, we found in the database that belongs to this test, we will insert a new text box in the form, in that empty form we have there. So add text box. We need to provide an ID of the container in which we want to add the question. Remember the ID of my container was questions. You will see it right here. 
questions. Now, we know where we want to put the fields. We need to provide a field ID and keep in mind that this will have to be unique. Each field will have to have its own ID. So I'm going to name my fields question number and use the ID of the question from the database as a differentiator for the question. Of course, it's from an entity, so it's entity name column ID. Now, the title, it's going to be from the same entity, the question, and you can set a true value if the field is required or not. Give an initial value or use show bind expressions, but these are just details. So we have a field ID, a field title, and a text box in which the user can type the answer. Let's click save and see what we did so far. Let's reload the page. This is an error because the query string is missing. And I'm gonna add it now. Test ID is one. And now we have a form with two questions. Of course, if we change the test number from the grid here and make all the questions to be available in test one, if we refresh the form, it will have five questions without making any change in the form. Let's refresh the form. And now your form has five questions. And they are all five different text box fields. The same will happen if we change the query string. Let's type here two. And if we change the query string to two, our form will have only one question. See how easy it is to create forms with dynamic fields? I hope you will put this to a great use and it will help you build nice quizzes for your users. See you again for another great tutorial. Bye!